Hey guys, it's Alex Osh1234 here from iPhoneExpert.com and today's video is going to show you how to get MMS on the 3.0, 3.01 and 3.1 firmwares. It's very simple and you can see right here I'm an example of MMS from at Forrest Cohen on Twitter. Make sure to follow him because he helped me with this and it's really really easy and just follow the video and I have an extensive post on my website with the downloads and directions for Windows, Vista, XP, and Mac OS X. Very simple to do, just follow along. So I'm going to show you an example of MMS. I'm going to send one out, and you just saw the example that I got one. So these are ones I've sent out, and I've received that one, and that one. You can also save this, save image. It saves it to your photo library. So let me just send one out. Choose existing. Uh, let's send the Apple one. Pretty cool. Now guys, if you hear that saxophone in the back, that's my brother playing. I wanted to get this video up as fast as possible, so sorry about that. I'm pretty sure you can hear also. So let's say test, sending, and sending out. It depends on how fast your 3G connection or Wi-Fi connection is, how fast it sends out. And there you see it, guys. I just sent my SMS message. You can also send videos and voice recordings and stuff like that so that's really really cool so to do this what you're gonna do is you can do this on a Mac Windows 2000 XP Vista running 32-bit or 64-bit and it's very simple so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into terminal for a Mac and you're gonna type this in now this is in the post in the description go to the post to get this you can get all this information. It's defaults right com dot apple dot iTunes carrier set dash setting dash bool true. Now that's that's all you gotta type in into terminal. You click enter and what that does is it allows you to update your carrier file in iTunes. And you do that same thing for pretty much the same kind of idea for a Windows computer. You just type that into the command and click enter, and that allows you. So after that, you're going to go into Firefox. Because do not download the IPCC file with Safari, because it downloads as a zip file, and you'd have to change it. the file type. It makes it more complicated and not that good and harder. So go into Firefox. If you don't have Firefox, you're going to want to download it. Just go on Google, type Firefox, and download it for your Mac or PC. And you're going to download, this is the download link. So I'm going to click on that. And it's saying to save the file. Now, what you're, you're going to do is you're going to save the file maybe on your desktop or wherever. It down for me, it's the downloads folder, but maybe change that to your desktop so you can found find it easily or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You're just going to want to be able to, to find it. Once you do that, you're going to want to have your iPhone 3G, 3GS or iPhone plugged in. You're going to go into iTunes and you're going to click let's see, you're going to click option update. Now this is a little different for Vista computers or XP. You're going to click shift update and it's the same thing. Then you can locate the IPCC file. I moved it to my desktop. You can see that. IPCC file. Move to my desktop. And that's it. You're going to click open and it will update the IPCC file. After you do that and it fully updates, it takes about 30 seconds or whatever, you're going to want to reboot your iPhone, iPhone 3GS or 3G, whatever. It doesn't really matter what you have because <laughs> it works. And then that's really it. You're going to reboot and you can go into messages and you should have MMS. Now, if it doesn't work on Wi Fi, I've heard a couple things that it doesn't sometimes doesn't work on Wi Fi. You're going to want to go to general network, general network, cellular data network, and make sure WAP.singular is plugged in, is put in there. That's really it. WAP.singular. So after you do that, everything should be fully working. And pretty much you're not going to have to do that Wi-Fi thing. I didn't. Most people don't, but it could happen. Now, uh, that's really MMS on the 
3.0, 3.01, 3.1 firmwares. Sorry I'm not in my usual position for making my videos because I wanted to find the quietest place in my house. But make sure you go in the description. You'll see the links for the downloads for the IPCC file and extensive directions on the Mac, Windows, and Windows XP Vista 64-bit, 32-bit. So thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers. I hope you like this. Make sure to rate five stars, comment, and yeah, thanks. Peace out, everyone. And comment if you have questions. Thanks.